This month in Chemistry World, Ali Buzari discussed our losing battle against the loss of bright green colours in vegetables and fruits. In particular, he explained how guacamole turns brown due to the enzyme-catalyzed oxidation of phenolic compounds. His solution involved the addition of ascorbic acid, or vitamin C, to prevent oxidation. So this month, to investigate this, I made a very simple guacamole following Ali's recipe. For a basic guacamole, scoop out the flesh from a couple of avocados and mash up with some olive oil, lime juice and a bit of salt. And that's it! There are many variations you can make, such as adding peppers, chilies, tomatoes and fresh herbs, but for our tests we kept it simple. The guacamole was split into two batches. To one of these, I added a teaspoon of ascorbic acid. The Chemistry World team tried them out. And on the count of three, I asked them to point to the one they thought contained the ascorbic acid. The results were unanimous. They all identified the one with the ascorbic acid. It had a subtle but clear sour taste. The guacamoles were left for a few hours, but in this case, both browned at about the same rate. So I made another batch with about three times as much ascorbic acid. Of course, the difference in taste was now more pronounced. But more importantly, over the course of a few hours, the browning rate was seen to be markedly different. Interestingly, this dispels the belief that adding lemon or lime prevents browning of guacamole. So next time someone tells you that lemons prevent guacamole from browning, you can say, yeah, sure, if you use 300. Fresh guacamole is so easy to make, and it is so much better than store-bought stuff. So give it a go. But if you want the best way to make it look and taste nice, then my advice is to just eat it straight away.